Okay, so today I'm doing a review on the Aftermath Kiranex Police M4 style rifle. Of course, now this is a very good gun and I like it a lot. <clears throat> and so far, how much I've used it, I mean, I've only had it about two days. But so far, this is the best gun I've ever had. And, of course, red. Then you have black. Just nothing special paint-wise unless you do it yourself. Then you have your Aftermath logo. Miami, Florida, of course, that's where they're based at. Have your fire selector. Safe, semi auto and here can't pull the trigger any further than that and then auto and then clip extendable stock short all the way then there's like three or I think there's two or three different positions to put it in the middle. <clears throat> and then flip it over here to the other side. And there's your warning right there. Other side of the trigger. Mag release. Then um this is where you adjust your hop up right here. Let me show you that. I'll show you that in a minute. Then a uh, sling where you can put your sling. I haven't gotten one yet, but I think I'm just going to use a belt for that one. Then this right here is where you keep your battery. You see it right there, that red, that green. That's the battery pack right there. But I'm not going to get it out because it's a pain to get it out, and it takes forever. You have to pull this right here back, and then you these separate together and you pull them out then it comes the battery out you charge it whatever <clears throat> then you just slide it right back in which is really a pain and then this is the other side where it says semi auto and safe and then here I'll release the mag then that's your gun without the mag then there's your mag strong it's that it's like ABS plastic I think or some kind of strong plastic or polymer then you've got your quit your reservoir wind up on the bottom and then this is just where you see the BBs come out release spring them all out and I think any M standard M4 magazine will fit into it then it is a removable grip and let me show you how to adjust the hop up which is why I really like it a lot because you can adjust the hop up on a, like a standard military issue M4 you have this thing right here that you can pull back and when you pull it back here, let me try that again so that way you can maybe see it better when you pull it back it releases this right here which opens up this and that those little gears in there adjust the hop up and you just let it slide back and you gotta make sure it's all this this pullback thing is all the way back to the front very front before you can close this and it just opens and closes just like that and you adjust your hop up right in there when you pull this all the way back so you may need two people to do that <clears throat> and I took the rear sight off this cause I was gonna plan on buying another one since I have a good bit of money to spend to buy a new back sight and now I will do a firing test 
in just a second. Alright, now before I start loading and shooting, I want to mention my porch is being redone. Sun porch. So, there's lots of stuff, new door and everything, you know. <coughs> Alright, and I also have a lot of junk around because of that. One second. Alright, so I got the mag out. I'm gonna take this, slide it back all the way, stand it up real quick. And I had a, uh, just have a regular speed loader, nothing special about it. And I just hope this mag doesn't fall. Oh god. I think I had about a hundred BBs in the speed loader. And so now I'm um, outside, <clears throat> and just like I said, we've been remodeling, so I'm taking an old box, and I'm going to shoot at it from probably just about 15 or 20 feet away. That was just semi. Total wreckage just on semi. <clears throat> All right, so right now I'm going to be shooting at that cardboard that's being held up at, by the trailer. And I'm going to be differentiating myself between ranges of about 50 to about 100 feet, somewhere in that range. And I'll be right back. And I'll be shooting on semi first, then full auto. All right, now, as you can see, this gun is amazing. So many BBs just stuck down way in there. I can't get them out. There we go, I got one. And by the way, and by the way, these are 20 grams, and this cardboard is that thick, about that thick. So these are just bouncing off everywhere. If you you may not can see them, but there's BBs everywhere on the ground, and they're all just stuck in there. <clears throat> and um. I'll shoot a few more for you in just a second. Let me 
wind it up first. Alright, now here we go, full auto. Um, I don't have enough, but as you can tell, it doesn't really matter because this gun is just amazing. It's accurate. It's a little harder for me since I don't have a rear sight and I just have to aim down the side a little bit for now until I can buy one. <clears throat> but overall, this so far is the best AEG or pretty much any gun I've ever had. And so I think $200 is definitely worth it. And if you could ever manage to get a trade on one that's in good condition, definitely you should take it. Unless yours is obviously worth more, something like that. But overall, out of five stars, I give this definitely a four and a four and a half. Um, for in the two hundred dollar range, it gets a five star. But if you're looking for a good AG aftermath, they're they're a good gun company I like them they have some more expensive ones I think but for the cheapest that's the best you definitely want to get an aftermath Kiranex police it's listed for 220 on their website and so thanks for watching my airsoft review on the aftermath Kiranex police 200 and the $200 range depending on where you get it from uh, so far, what I've tested with, 20 grams are the best, point twenty grams, and accurate, everything shoots fast, hurts, definitely. And before I go, I'd like to say thanks for watching, and um, it's a good gun, everything, and subscribe, like, or comment, whatever you want. For more airsoft reviews and I think I'm gonna be putting up another one um, pretty soon and this one's gonna go up into YouTube probably within a few hours but thanks for watching